Hey yo everyone, welcome back to the Dark Healer playthrough. We are here. We are banging out episodes. Like I said, still working on the uh who's gonna be in the healer playthrough, the regular healer playthrough. So bear with me while we do that. Um, you know, I should have thought about this a little bit more. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be to find people to do it, apparently. It's actually not that hard. It's just the timing and everything, you know how it is. Everyone has different schedules, stuff like that. So that's really the hard part with it. So really bear with me when it comes to that part of the series. But you guys are in for some goodies with the Dark Healer. I'm very excited for this character. Let's start off this episode by making this. The, the pill, not the popper, the pill, just pill. Throws out a bouncing pill. Uh, if we throw it at an ally, increases their life recovery briefly. Nice to know. Let's hit this bitch. Sorry if I... um like don't know any or not any if i don't know any of the modern redemption stuff their wiki isn't complete their mod page itself is not like organized in the easiest way to like figure out what the druid class has in it and stuff like that so we're gonna probably be missing out on a lot of the early game druid stuff just because i don't know when to get it or how to get it so my bad on that we're gonna buy a bunch of this because this is what we need to make these pills and a bunch of copper. I should have tons of copper. Eight, and then we have 153. Let's go. That's easy money. That's easy money. Look at that. Boom. 59. How many? Wait, where do we make them? Workbench. Okay. We chillin'. We chillin'. We got all these enemies coming through, though. You know, this seed bag's pretty good. We need to get our hands on some more. I know the seed bags. I don't know anything else. Like, I might miss some accessories. I might miss some armor. Uh, I'll be honest. In the last episode, I went on their Discord. And I had to wait like 30 minutes for an answer of where to find this armor or what was the first armor set. Because I couldn't find information about it. I could not find any information. Let's make like 500. I feel like that's a good number. I guess. What else does it make? That's a real question. Oh, God. Bungie towards a hurt ally with the least health. This is going to be fun once we hop into the actual, you know, healer playthrough. But let's go ahead. Let's do. Let's move everything around a little bit. No, go ahead. Quick stack, whatever we need to quick stack. Boom. We do have an eye. I don't know if I could take on an eye. That's the problem. I have no idea if I could take on the eye at this current moment. See, all right, this core. I don't know if I want to touch anything with the core. Because look, we get weaknesses. And it isn't equipable. So we can just take it off. But like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Do I want weak weaknesses? Which one's the druid core? I'm pretty sure there's a druid one, isn't there? So this one? 5% increased druidic damage. You will photosynthesis that day, increasing life damage. All right, yeah, we'll make this one. Uh, we just won't wear it <laughs> all the time. We'll just have it there because we don't want to get that debuff. It's nighttime right now and it gives us a debuff at night. Uh, you're weaker at night, decreasing damage and defense. They use the wrong defense. You can't uh, regen life when in the corruption no, they used the right defense. Am I tripping? <laughs> no, they did use the wrong one. Okay, I was about to say. I'm like, did I just second guess myself? Never second guess yourself. A tip from Game Raiders 101. Thank you, everyone, for coming to my life tips from a shitty YouTuber. <laughs> so this guy sells a rope hook. I'm going to buy it. It says affected by gravity. So I'm assuming. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. This dude just tried to slash me. Y'all seen that? I like that animation, though. That was a cool animation. But yeah, we got the pills. There's one other thing thing we should be able to make also from the healer slash cleric we'll say healer uh it's called a palm cross there it is palm cross produces a burst of light in front of you burns and deals double damage against most undead enemies that's pretty good but i don't know what's considered undead in terraria i don't know how that works even in minecraft when there's undead monsters in minecraft like what is the thing that separates undead from not undead <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Maybe you guys might not get what I'm saying. I barely get what I'm saying, if I'm being honest. Yo, we need some stars. Maybe I should just go out and gather stars real quick off camera. What is this? Plus 10 mana? Nah, we don't need that. We don't need it. Maybe I should grab some stars. Because we will be needing stars very soon. So let me just, you know, go across the world see what I can get. Hold up, we made it to the jungle. Didn't I have to grab something from here? In the last episode and I just couldn't get here? Let's test out the pills. Hold up. Quick pill test. Oh, they change colors too. It's really got a Dr. Mario type vibe with it. I fucks with it. Hold up. How many stars do we have? I only have six. I've barely picked up any stars. 
since the last clip. Probably because it was like a fucking 10 second gap between the last clip. Look how predictive I'm being with this move. You're gonna be right here. Oof, it, it was kind of right. It was kind of right. I hit him with a little piece of it. It's all good. Just let me just check over here real quick. Real quick. Any stars? No? Alright, we're going down into the jungle. We're about to die. It's not good. Back up. Please get away from me. I'm not trying to die. Oh, God. We're getting surrounded right now. We got the double jump, so we can drop pretty far. Oh, is a heart crystal? I need that, my guy. You need to get out of the way. Woo, there's a lot of enemies coming for me. A lot of enemies coming for these cheeks. And I am a female orc, so, you know, understandable at this point in time. Uh, unless, you know, don't worry about it. I'm not going to say any homo shit. <laughs> All right, daytime has cometh, so that means we are allowed to use the Force Nymphs Core. Very odd phrasing of words. It's not really, but that's a low-key tongue twister. So let's see here. We're, we're trying to make, what was it, the Palm Cross? So we need that Arcane Dust, which we make right here at a workbench, right? Am I wrong about this? No, there it is. I was about to say, I'm like, hold up. Don't we make this here? Uh, so we do that. And then we need copper and iron. Copper, iron, boom. Nice and easy. Where the fuck is it? Where's the chains? There they are. Boom. I made 20 chains. Oops. It's all good. It's just it's just iron. It's not that bad. Okay, where is the palm cross? Boom, bada, bing. Unpleasant? Let's go. We got us an unpleasant cross. That does not sound holy. It's all good. Uh, let's put this here. We're going to not really use this stave as much due to the fact that, you know, we're obviously outranking his damage already. And I just want to see the summon at this point. We got five stars too. What is this GTA? Come on, bro. Oh my God. 20 more mana. You know, if I had that feather, <laughs> if I had that feather, let's test out this weapon. Okay. Okay. I like it. That's not really like, is that how you hold it in your palm? I thought the cross would actually be in the palm. But I guess, you know, to show off the sprite a little bit more, they kind of had to hold it like that. So it's all good. But yeah, um, let's go ahead. Let me check. I'm trying to think. What's the first boss we can fight? Let's just check like this. Mighty King Chicken. Okay. <laughs> we could do this. Egg Crown. Someone's a legendary being. Only usable in the day. We got to be kind of quick about it then. Got to be kind of quick. I know we have a bunch of chicken eggs, but I think we need 10. Jeez, you do need 10. Fried egg? <laughs> okay, okay. We just had to, you know, find some chickens. Get some chickens to spawn. So let me, while I'm at it, let me make a crown. Do I, I don't know if I have enough for a crown. How much even is a crown? Isn't it not that expensive? It's five and then we need a ruby. Do I have rubies? Oof, I don't have rubies. Okay, this is this might take a little bit of effort. Um, I'm sorry for that bird I just killed. This might take a little bit of effort. We'll see if we're gonna be able to do it. If not, goal is at least pink sore, rogue tomato, stuff like that. You know the regular mini bosses. Cause I don't know polar exterminator. This gonna this is gonna be some toughies we gotta take on here. That is a word I've never said before. Is that a real word? Tuffies. So I was gonna stream. Well, you're gonna be watching this, I guess, the day after I was gonna stream. I was gonna stream, and then I woke up, and it was like six. And I was like, "What the fuck? Why is it so late?" It was like six or five. I don't remember what time I woke up. If I'm being completely honest, but I woke up and I was like, "Why is it so late?" I usually never sleep that late. I do sleep kind of late though, for being honest. Uh, but yeah, I woke up and I was like, "Why is it so late?" And I forgot that the time moved forward a little bit. Not in, not no time travel shit. I'm talking about, you know, it's spring forward. Meaning that the clock moves up an hour. So that shit really fucked me up. Because I thought I was so late. I was like, oh man, it's way too late for me to stream now. I miss my, I miss my window that I usually stream at. So I just didn't stream. And then I, I forgot, I, was, I woke up, or not woke up. After a while, I was like, hold up. I forgot that the time jumped forward. So I could have streamed. That's my bad. Because I wanted to work on building a house. Uh-oh. I wanted to work on. Uh, don't kill yourself. I wanted to work on building a house for his character, like right away, right away. Somebody in the comments of the first episode, like nobody would care if you cheat in items to build your home. Oh yeah, they do care. They do care. People care just because I have cheat sheet. 
Just right here. This shit alone just makes people fucking have nightmares and PTSD. So they would definitely care if I cheat. I mean, I used to do it in the past. And I would tell you guys how I do it in the past. Because I feel like building a home in this game... What is that? Don't kill it. In this game, it doesn't really matter that much. It's like, oh man, he cheated in some blocks to build a home. He's fucking overpowered. No, it, it's not that deep, bro. But I just stopped doing it. Try my best to not piss off people. Well, I'm gonna piss off people either way. <laughs> but, uh, no, I try my best not to piss them off all the way. Is that? That's Demonite, right? Is that what that's called? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I get it confused, honestly. Demonite? Ebonite? Because it's Ebon Stone. Isn't it Crimstone for the Crimson stuff? But then, like, Crimtain? I but Ebon Stone. And then demon knight see like i'm confused all right so we didn't get our hand on a ruby specifically but we did get our hand on a bunch of stuff that i've been slowly collecting and that slush so i'm hoping the slush will come through clutch here and give us the ruby we need please you gave us an opal already come on give us just a beautiful ruby opal is the healer one right no this is the bard one is there even a healer I don't even know if there's a healer one. Yeah, this is symphonic damage. Onyx, maybe? This is the healer one? I don't know. Maybe the healer just doesn't have one. I could be tripping. Please. Oh my god. You're killing me. You're killing me right now. You really are. Oh my god. You gave me a fucking amber. <laughs> you gave me an amber. That really hurts me right there. I'm pointing at myself. I'm not actually pointing at myself. I'm just... <laughs> Alright, after tons and tons of time, I've gathered... Oh god, where'd I put? 202 more blocks. And also, I have max mana. I forgot that 200 was the max. I made another one. Whatever. We can finally summon a pixie. Help me out, pixie. Yes. So strong. Damn, a hefty three damage. It's gone just like that. And we can't summon it for... Oh my god. That's so bad. That's really, really bad. Okay. It's all good. It's just the first stave we can get. There's no way we don't get a ruby from this. 200? On top, we got a diamond before we got a ruby. Dude, I've gathered up so much. I've gathered up at least like 100 off camera. And then whatever, how much amount we had on camera too. This shit is taking forever. This shit has... This, an hour alone, an hour plus alone has been spent on just gathering enough silt slash slush. Oh my. Please, ruby, please. Oh my god. Alright, so a new NPC has moved in here. Ragnos the Squire, I think was his name. If you're a melee guy like me, then I'll help you sharpen your weapon for free. My boy got bars. But look, he sells some druid stuff. Leather. Leather pouch. I will proudly take a leather pouch. You got a buckler. The other stuff I don't really care about. Makes the user immune to most frosty buffs. That's actually not that bad. This twig right here. This interests me a lot because it seems like this is something odd oh, not a minion wait no there's a druid hood there is a druid hood interesting forest core it's a material oh we can't make that for a while druidic damage okay so there's a druidic weapon at least shoots leaf right clicking will summon a nature pixie oh my god <laughs> guardian info type pixie special ability left special ability swift swing Stab swing a lot faster. I have no idea what's going on. Guardian info? What the hell does that mean? We need eight. One more. Boom. There's eight. Oh my god, stop. Alright. And then we just need some acorns. Which we should have acorns. Honestly, I think I give up on uh, trying to kill. Or not kill. Trying to do whatever the hell I was doing earlier. <laughs> what was I doing? I don't remember, but... It had something to do with rubies because I literally cannot find any goddamn rubies. I've been out for forever trying to find some. And I can't. It's annoying. So, you know, we're just going to give up on that. So we got this. Right click. We summon in our little fucking pixie. That's only here for a couple seconds. We'll see how long it's here for. It's It literally is only here for a couple seconds. And then you got to wait a whole minute to do it again. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I do a lot of work to get this. Not really. But I went through a lot of work to get the mana to summon the pixie. And the pixie's only here for like five seconds. Wait, kill that. 
Because you never know if that's going to drop anything. But you may be wondering, gamers, why are you going this direction? Well, Pink Zor is somewhere over here. And, you know, if we can't defeat the boss that I wanted to defeat this episode, why not do the next best thing? And that's a mini boss from Juiced. Who doesn't love the Juiced mod? Come on. So let's go ahead. Let's head over here. Take on Pink Zor. And probably end off the episode on that because I've been recording. Or not recording, but I've been playing for like two, three hours. Uh, two hours, two of those hours alone, searching for dumbass slush and silt. I haven't even found any silt. I've just been finding slush. I've mined so much slush here. I haven't mined like every little piece, but I've mined giant like veins. Is it, would you even call it a vein of slush? Okay, look, we got three pieces right here. You know, maybe I should be mining all the little tiny pieces. But you see, like these pieces right here, these holes. There was slush there. I mined that. Over there, slush. You can see all the little holes everywhere where I have actually mined the slush. But uh, we're just not going to worry about it, alright? Just don't don't worry about it. What was that? Ruby Crawler? <gasps> A blessing. We have been blessed. Okay. We have been blessed, boys. This is what we needed. <laughs> we can't actually take... Oh, that's from Calamity? I thought that was from a completely different mod. <laughs> I didn't know they changed the sprites. It's Calamity. What did I expect? All right, Pink Zor. You're going down right now. The big pink hoe. <laughs> Come over here. Over here where I'm at. Yes, ma'am. I'm assuming this is a lady. She produces a lot of babies afterwards. But I don't know. We'll see. Oh, pink Zor, pinkies. I can see. I see the correlation there. I see the children correlation. There is a mother slime in this. But I don't know, is like, is the King Slime like a, a father? Is he just holding on to all his kids? Because you know when you beat the King Slime up, he splits into more and more. So like, how does that work? Is he, he's a king, obviously. So he's male. So, I, I don't know, I'm very confused. We're, we're getting too deep into this. So I saw a certain enemy over here. Let's check it out real quick. Because it looked like a really interesting enemy. It looked like one of the golem enemies from... G realm ancient stone golem okay it is a golem so i got that part right what the fuck hit me what does he drop that's the real question he's from the modern redemption i like most of the enemies the modern redemption adds in uh but i don't know i feel like i see them way more than i see any other enemy in the game given how many mods we have maybe there just isn't any other enemy spawning oh he dropped something <gasps> he's actually a druid weapon Summons an ancient obelisk at your curse point. The obelisk emits a force field that increases player's defense and endurance when near. What? What are the odds? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I don't know what that noise was. Hey! I'm doing our defense now. Let's go. Okay. That was like 100% worth killing. Alright, it is completely the next day. And when I say next day, I mean 24 hours IRL. Okay, maybe not 24 hours, but like 20 something. Uh, here we are. I don't remember what we were doing. I was doing something before I fell asleep last night, and I think I was gathering everything. We have the rubies. We have the eggs. We have the, the what's this? Gold. Ready to go, right? So we have to make golden crown. Boom. So there's that, and then do we need to go to a demon altar to make the, you know, boss spawner? Demon altar, yes. Okay got it let me just store everything we are fighting our first boss here so it would be smart if we took these out sure why not take those out Un honestly just take out everything take out everything do we have an iron skin that's the real question no okay well we can make an iron skin so it's all good take the bottles and we'll take these with us to where do we have to go left right right we're going to the right we have some nasty ass worm shit on our face my bad um, everything appears on us. <laughs> I'm trying to turn everything off. You know, just holding a cross in our palm. You know, bringing it along with us. Oh, fuck. He did 50 damage? Oh, my God. They're fast as hell. Jesus. Back up, my guy. Uh, there's some, there's some hands that are going to grab you. He's keeping up with us. Yep. Okay, I was about to say, I was about to y'all hear him? He's still trying to keep up. He got wheels on him. 
but he's a tumbleweed, so he doesn't really have wheels. All right, we can go down this one, right? Or is this one of the ones that just like end? Oh, I knew it was one of the ones that just ended. It seemed too good that the hole would like start that big at the top. This one though, this one for sure goes down. Okay, <laughs> I lied about that. This is a really weird underground corruption. It's like very condensed. I don't know if I like it. It's gonna make it hard, make it way harder to fight. Or not even a fight, I don't know. I guess we can just fight the eater above ground. Whatever. I still don't like it. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to do something. Oh, whatever. We're trying to be safe. So we're going to do it. We're going to take the time to do it. That's our little arena right there. I'm assuming we don't need anything that big. Due to the fact... I'm sure I have an extra bottle. Due to the fact that... You open boss checklist. This is the first boss. This is behind Pink Zor. So this boss should be extremely easy if i have any trouble at all with this boss i'm gonna be very upset very very upset because you know the way it's ranked on boss checklist should be the way should be the difficulty of it pretty much let's see here where, where is i have iron or do i have lead in this world i think i have iron yes sir all right there is our iron skin we have three different potions we got healing potions i probably could have made a better seed bag well did we even make the original seed bag we're supposed to make isn't there a seed bag called a seed bag yes there is but obviously we do more damage i might make it just to see how it is honestly yeah let's do it i'm ready zoom out i'm ready baby the mighty king chicken you fool you dare think you can kill me i am the mighty king chicken i have come to annihilate you cluck cluck come on you fuck fuck <laughs> so face me mortal accept your fate stubborn fool are you letting me make the first move i can't fight you you're not here so be it a god does not fear death i didn't even get to see it <laughs> this is what the boss looks like if you guys wanted to know it's just a chicken with a crown and like a red feather, red feathers. I'm not going to spawn it in. <laughs> but there you go. That's what it looks like. Somebody, one of my NPCs apparently killed it. Uh, all good. You know, boss defeated. We got the crown back. Pile of grain. And then we got spirit of life. Oh, it's a druid item. Better than nothing. 10% increased druidic damage getting attack unleashes a weak spirit chicken to attack foes. I love it already. I love it already. Get rid of that. We can let's switch these babies out. The hell was that noise? Oh, I used the fucking stave. I didn't even get to use this. I was pretty happy about getting that. I didn't even get to use it. Summons what? Is a pet, right? Yeah. Summons a legendary chicken. Oh, look at him. Got a little chicken following us. All right. So there you go. <laughs> There's the boss chicken. A little anti-climatic. It was way harder to get the fucking item than it was to fight the boss. But it's all good. It is all good. Anything else we could do in this episode? Not really. Not anything that I want to do currently. But uh, yeah, we're going to end this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said earlier, my bad if I ever miss any uh, druidic items. There's no wiki. Well, there is a wiki, but it's incomplete. The forum page does not have like a whole separate area for druid information. It's all clumped together with all the regular stuff. This makes it really hard to find any information. And the dip, people on the Discord, this is no disrespect to the mods or any of the creators. This is just people that don't reply on the Discord. Because I was, like I said, I started this episode yesterday. It's a completely new day. I went on the Discord. And there was like three or four people that like asked a question. And it was like 10 hours after they asked a question and no one replied. So it's going to be a little bit hard to get information for this mod. So I probably will be missing a lot of stuff, sadly. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time make sure to cop my merch link in the description i think i hope